blessed Wednesday to us. Today's feast as as in one of my reflection one points of the reflections I have today is it is a great summary of God's involvement in our lives. And why is it a great summary? Because this involvement in many different ways are represented by the three archangels. Actually, we are told in terms of the biblical context, these are the only angels, in fact, archangels that were given names. St. Pope Gregory the Great in his homily for today's feast has also indicated that. But there were so many helpers or messengers that are depicted in the Bible. But these helpers, or we call them messengers or angels, signify certain events or contexts by which God or from which God intervenes in our lives. That's why I call this a summary because the, the intervention of God in our lives is best described not just in the names, because the names that we are celebrating today, the Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, are not just simply names. They go beyond the simple names that we know of. Because these are statements or truths that are so overwhelming and so marvelous. And they describe God's presence in our lives or His interventions. So just a sort of a review. Michael is not just a name. It's more than a name because it is a declarative sentence. In Hebrew, when you say kinsa or who, the word in Hebrew is mika. And then el, so who is like God. No? Mika el, who is like God. So it is a, actually a question, a declarative, uh, a declarative expression taking into account that there is no other God. There is only one and only one God. And of course, we know the background story of this. Michael is always presented in his battles against Satan, against Lucifer, who also was an angel, who wanted to become like God. That's why Lucifer's ambition was answered by a question. If you want to become like God, the question is, who is like God? And there is no other one like him. And that is Michael. Okay? Mikael, Miguel, Michelle, or whatever uh, variation of the name. But it's not just a name. It's more than a name. It is a declarative expression of God's over, uh, overwhelming and his being almighty, that no one can actually become like him. Second, we are reminded in the very stories of annunciations that every moment or every event of annunciations coming from the Old Testament to the New Testament, there is always a particular messenger sent, and that is the significance of his name, Gabriel. In Hebrew, we, we have the word Gever, which is man, which is also messenger. So Gaveri, it is my man, my messenger. And El, of course, God, the messenger of God. And in everything that he represents, this is one realization for all of us, that God never stops, that God continues to proclaim his good news of salvation to all of us, since then, until now, and until forever. There are so many different modes and manners of expressing and announcing this good news. And the, the, the climax of this announcement is through the angel Gabriel's annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary, who responded a resounding yes that the Lord will live among us. His annunciation about Jesus' incarnation. And finally, I always tell this because before the Bibles nowadays uh, have or contain certain books that were not contained in certain Protestant editions. No, kung ang imong Biblia, 1969 pa ang edition, 
di jog ka kaila kon kinsa si Rafael. Ano man? The Archangel Raphael is mentioned only in the book of Tobit. And if your Bible is Protestant and does not have the book of Tobit, because they do not include this in their previous editions, may nalang gani ka ron, kaya naan na may mga deuterocanonicals ng mga interconfessional Bibles, at least naan mo libro ni Tobit. Try to check your Bibles, ha? Kaya e basit pag uli din nyo, hala, mula may Tobit, di jud mo kailang Raphael. Because the, the Archangel Raphael is only found and presented in the narrative of the story of Tobit. But what does his name mean? Rafa in Hebrew is to heal. Pag-ayo. So Raphael, God heals. And this is a reminder, a summary of the many different ways that he extends his great kindness and mercy, his healing remedies to all of us. And one thing that is very beautiful about reflecting the names and the functions of these archangels is that being a summary, it also includes our own age, being, being us used as agencies, as agents, because we also help others defend against certain occasions and situations. We also are announcers of the good news. And at the same time, we also strive to heal each other in our different manners, in our relationships with God. And so as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration, our, responding res our resounding response to this, God's involvement in our lives is always a great amen. And that is what we come here for. And every time we come to the Eucharistic celebration, we acknowledge that God never stops Thus, he continues to be involved in our lives in the many different manners sometimes we are not even aware of because he is all present in our lives. And as I usually say, whether we like it or not. Agree? Amen.